Good day everyone. I'm going to show you how to use if function on Microsoft Excel. But firstly, we need to understand that uh, you still need the basics of how to use functions or how to type a function on Microsoft Excel because if function is one of the advanced functions that you still need to do after you have learned the basics. So an if function actually helps you to display a certain message or text after a condition is met. What do we mean? Uh, it means you are going to check in a cell whether the value is greater or equals to or less than a certain amount. And then in the other cell, you need to display text as a message to give the results of what, what was found in the cell that you were testing or the condition that you Excel tried to, to meet after you wrote the function. So it helps in terms of giving a message or a displaying text. Some other times you will even use a function to calculate for you after a certain condition is met. If the condition is not met, then you still need to, to display a certain message according to what was not met, just like that. And this is how you do it on Excel. So this is how you will do it. Because now we want to show the results of people who actually met a target according to their sales. And if you check here, we have total sales. And then here we have target reached column. So we want to see whether they've reached a target or not. So we need to display either yes or no. And that is an if function. So the way you do it, I'm going to click here where the formula must come and then I will start by saying equals to if now you can see that it Microsoft Excel also suggests the if for you then you can double click and then you can see a tip here this is a tool tip so that you can have a structure of how your formula is going to be uh, compiled so I'm going to click inside the value then it will reference for me that it's coming from b2 so remember here i want to check a co it's a condition now i'm going to check whether total sales have been met so if the question goes like if uh, the person has reached 5000 and upwards then we must display yes so that we can say that they've reached the target if not then we must display no to indicate that they didn't reach the target. So the reason why I click this is because I'm checking whether they've reached the target using an if statement. So then I will say is greater than and equals to because we are checking using two operators. We are going to say from a certain amount going up. So we need to put these two operators greater and equals to then 5,000, you put the figure only without putting a currency symbol like R. So then I'm going to, if you look at the logical, where it says logical test, there is a comma after that. So it means I can put a comma also because I want to continue and specify what must happen if the condition is true. So if it's true, then we need to display yes. But now because yes, the word yes is text need to put it inside the inverted commas and there like this and then now if it's not true then I have to continue and put no in the inverted comma so I will put a comma again and then put in another inverted comma no then I close the inverted comma I close the brackets so you see that when I press enter it says yes why because the total sales for John it's 6,000 already, which is more than 5,000. So if I click here where the answer is, you will see there in my formula bar, it indicates the formula that I just compiled there uh, using the function if. So the 5,000, it's my, um, the criteria that I use for the if function. So it must be greater and equals to five. So we see that John didn't, I mean, John already passed the, the the total sales 
um, um, according to the criteria that we are looking for. So now, based on the years that I've found here, I can autofill going down like this, and then it will determine for the for the other salesman. So now you see that Samsung didn't reach it because he's at four thousand. Selena got it because she's at five point five, which is more than five thousand. But unfortunately, Sarah didn't get it because she's below five thousand, and Mary got it. So that is how you use an if function, and then you have to make sure that you include the the true part of it and also the false part of it. Meaning that if the condition is true, what do you want to display? Like we have it there. And if the condition is not true, what do you want to display? Mm -hmm.